Today I'll be discussing on why there is rapid upsurge of diabetes mellitus in our society. Recently we observed there is a tremendous increase in number of subjects with diabetes mellitus and this is in both sexes as well as in young as well as older generation. The reasons are multifactorial. Important reasons are obesity or overweight. Once a subject is overweight, there is insulin resistance. Means the insulin in the body is not able to act properly. The other reasons are poor lifestyle. Means there is increased tendency to have fast food among the younger generations. There is no or almost minimum physical activity and we do not maintain the biological clock means we are late in the going to bed we are late riser and we do not take food at the right time the other cause is stress it may be a relational stress economic stress social stress or political stress if we can manage the stress we can have decreased risk of diabetes mellitus Today I will be discussing on pre-diabetes. Pre-diabetes is a condition where blood glucose is in between normal and diabetic level. And these subjects are prone to develop diabetes within the next 5 to 10 years. The good part is that if we can detect these subjects early and counsel them to have regular physical activity, diet and lifestyle changes, then we can prevent or delay the onset of diabetes in a large number of subjects. Subjects who are at risk of developing pre-diabetes and subsequently diabetes are those who are obese, aged more than equal 40 years, people suffering from blood pressure problem, heart problem or kidney problem, those who are physically inactive, those who have a family history of diabetes mellitus, Young females, those who suffer from polycystic ovarian disease are also at risk of diabetes. And females who have a history of gestational diabetes mellitus during pregnancy are at risk of having diabetes mellitus later on. Today I will be discussing on gestational diabetes mellitus. Gestational diabetes mellitus is a condition when a pregnant lady develops high blood sugar and it has consequences to both the mother as well as the baby. The mother may develop high blood pressure, mother may develop convulsion, can lose protein in urine and have a life threatening condition for the mother. The risk to the baby are there is increased risk of abortion. If the mother has very uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, the baby's size may be large. Baby may be up to 4 kg or 5 kg of body weight and which can result in difficulty during labor. These babies are also at risk of developing cardiac diseases and neurological diseases. That's why the young females who are planning for pregnancy should check their blood sugar and if any abnormality, consult with the doctors before having conception. Today I will be discussing on diabetic food. Diabetic subjects are at risk of developing many complications. Food problem is one of them. Almost 25% of the diabetic subjects may have food problem anytime during life. The most important part in a diabetic food patient is its chronicity. It takes time to heal, sometimes it takes months to years. It is also associated with a huge financial burden to the family. Subjects of diabetes who are at risk of developing diabetic food are those who are having long-standing diabetes mellitus, poorly controlled diabetes, those who smoke, those who have a previous history of diabetic food, those who have cholesterol problem or cardiac diseases or kidney problem are also at risk of having diabetic food. And to prevent it, one should have daily wash the feet, 
one should daily uh, one should observe the feet daily trims the nails intermittently only with a nail cutter they should not walk barefoot and they should apply moisturizers if the feet is dry if any foot problem they should consult to the doctors immediately Today I will be discussing on diabetes mellitus its present scenario. Diabetes is a chronic disease characterized by high blood sugar and it's one of the epidemic presently. Why there is high blood sugar? The reasons are multifactorial. Almost 10% of the populations are suffering from diabetes mellitus. And the present trend is alarming in the sense that it does not spare even the teenagers also. It is of many two types type 1 and type 2 diabetes type 1 affects the younger and type 2 affects little older population we should be little conscious and screen for our diabetes mellitus if blood sugar is high we should consult the doctors immediately <music>